Why have you even got this on my head? What is going on guys? It's your boy Carl. We're back with another video and today we are on Newcastle Fans TV. But before we do all that, shameless little plug, any boxing content that you are interested in, if you're interested in boxing, get yourself over to Facebook, Punch Out Boxing, you'll find me over there. Don't know what's going on here. Um, with plenty of professional boxers, um, myself and Davina Johal and Ra Hokum are the, uh, the presenters for Punch Out Boxing. Get yourself over there. There's just a quick shameless plug if you're interested in it. Anyway, back to the football. Yeah, dogs barking outside. This is going well, isn't it? <sighs> Those dreaded transfer room videos. Better get rid of this. That's better. Got our own, haven't we? Oi, oi. Yes. Unfortunately, that is my washing. <laughs> this, it's, it's not the best background. I do apologise. But as I said, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Share the content far and wide. Because we've got a transfer room video. So yes, guys, we are at that point, unfortunately. It's international break, and what else is there to talk about other than transfer rumours and potential stadium plans and the Amazon video and things like that? And Yeah, there's not much, is there, really? So we're going to talk about transfer rumours. And unfortunately, I say, yeah, unfortunately, I think we're all unhappy about this. Newcastle United are yet again being touted to be signing Manchester United fourth choice, fifth choice now, central midfielder Scott McTominay. Manet. Scott McTominay. But I think we should all start a petition called Stock, Stock Scott McTominay. Because I don't want him. I don't want him. I said previously... Uh, I would afford Eddie Howe all the time that he wants and he gets to make all these mistakes, but no, 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 not Scott McTominay. I just do not see Howie, Howie, Steve Howie, and I don't see how he improves the side. He's a very, very similar player to Sean Longstaff, I would say, and Sean Longstaff has been playing out of his skin. Now, has he got... I, I, I'm, what, we should have kept John Joe. We should have kept John Joe. Fuck. So let's get into it. Quick change of attire. Um, it seems that... It seems to be gaining more and more traction as obviously the months and the weeks have gone by with regards to Tommy, Tom and I actually signing for Newcastle United. And Luke Edwards wrote that Eddie Howe um, thinks that the midfielder has the physical attributes to succeed in his system, which um, it surprises me, I guess, because like I said, I just, I just feel like the, the um, similarities and the comparisons between him and Sean Longstaff and the way that they play, in my opinion, are, are quite similar. But in the same breath, I suppose I can't say that I actually watch Manchester United that much and certainly haven't seen much of Scott Tomlinson this season because although he's played in 18 games, he's only made seven starts for Manchester United after they signed um, Champions League winner in, in, in Casemiro, who's obviously been an absolute revelation with them uh, for them under Eric Ten Hag. So... Is there going to be scope for improvement or his game to be adapted to a point where he's a mainstay side in the Newcastle United side? I guess so. But I just, I personally just don't see it. I just think he's too similar to, to some of the players that we have. You know, do I think he's better than Joe Willock? Personally, no. Definitely isn't better than Bruno. Does he complement Joe Willock? Not in my opinion. I, I, you know, is he better than Sean Longstaff right now? Definitely not. Sean Longstaff's playing far more football than him. Sean Longstaff has improved far more than, than Scott McTominay. And of course, there's always the scope for that to happen under Eddie Howe. But I just, 
I don't know. He's, he, 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 he can't, he wouldn't jet Tyler Joe Linton's boots. And, and to top that off, he's on 60 grand a week currently or 65 grand a week at Manchester United. Those figures may well be outdated, but 65 grand a week is, is a lot of money for a player that you essentially already have in the side. Do you know what I could get for 60 grand a week? Riley Reid. Ten visits to the itty bitty team committee. Like, could get a Porsche. I'd, I'd buy a Porsche every week. A Porsche, bo- um, a, a Porsche um, nine eleven every week for sixty five grand a week. You know, it's um, I just, I, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. But let's have a look at some of his stats. Right. So we've got some statistics up on the screen. Very, very surely, from, officially from the Premier League. And the the first one I want to point out is Sean Longstaff has made 104 appearances in his career for Newcastle United in, within the Premier League. And Scott McTominay has made 138 appearances for Manchester United across all seasons. Goals, four to Sean Longstaff. Scott T- McTominay has scored 11. So there's a significant difference there. But we are talking across the 34 extra games, essentially. Um, Six assists for Sean Longstaff. Three, only three assists for Scott McTominay in 138 Premier League games. 17 clean sheets for Sean, 23 for Scott McTominay. Nine yellow cards for Sean, 24 for Scott McTominay with one red card in Longstaff's career and none so far for Scott McTominay. Let's look at some attacking stats. So minutes per goal, obviously there's a significant difference of 1,736 minutes per goal for Sean um, against 794 in Scott McTominay's and a disparity of 86 shots to 106. So Scott McTominay's had an extra 20 shots across 34 games, which is, to be fair, a stat that you would kind of expect. So it's almost, it's just under a shot per game. So looking at around 0.6, 0.7 shot per game, extra than what um, Sean has had. And across, um, well, yeah, so, so... Sean is is kind of averaging at the same rate of his eighty sh- eighty six shots per per um eighty six shots across his hundred and four games for Newcastle United. So it's a very similar um similar stat. Shooting success is a four point six five to Scott McTominay's ten point three eight. So there's definitely um I think it's fair to say that Scott McTominay definitely has a better shooting accuracy and and tends to shoot more than Sean Longstaff does. So he does kind of pose that attribute and a lot more of his goals have come from outside of the box as well. Something that we know Sean Longstaff has has, um, struggled with. But this season, he's found himself in some fantastic positions. But again, just looking at these stats, you know, it it just proves a point to me that they're very, very similar players. And had they played the same amount of games, the stats would be almost identical. One thing that's very, very interesting is... There's a significant amount of passes for more passes forward from Scott McTominay. Um, so this is probably one of the stats where you can look at it and think, OK, is that one of the reasons that Eddie Howe is looking at him? Because we're looking to implement more progressive football again. We're constantly looking for more balls forward rather than lateral passes and in, in, in that kind of pivot role. So across 34 games, for 34 extra games from Scott McTominay, he's passed... He has actually exceeded more than six hundred. No, sorry, five around five hundred and fifty more passes across those amount. That's an incredible amount, to be fair. Forward passes, that is. Um, but also, he's had less backwards passes as well. So it is a very interesting stat, and I think that in itself proves that he's he's a far more progressive player than what Sean Longstaff is for Newcastle. So that is that what Eddie Howe's looking at? Potentially, um, the progression up the field is that something that we need more of? Argument? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what what we lack is the uh, not the not the chances being created, but taking those chances in the final third. 
one thing that we're very good at is actually progressing up the pitch, in my opinion. But hey, I'm I'm sat in a chair in my bedroom, not not managing Newcastle United you know, at the end of the day. So it is what it is. Um, and then just looking at the defensive stats, they're very very similar as well. Um, more tackle. You'd expect McTominay's stats to be more than than what Sean has has had because of the amount of games played. But you can see there's not much disparity between the two. When we look at these figures, other than things like clearances, for example, headed clearances, aerial battles, one is that the physicality that Eddie Howe is looking at and thinking that we're potentially missing that in the middle and we need more of it alongside Joe Linton. Maybe, maybe. It's just not someone that I personally um, looked at coming to Newcastle to help him, thinking that he would improve the squad, but... It certainly seems that that there is um, there's legs in the room, and and I think you mean, when you look at those stats and you look at the progressive stats, and the and the actual physicality, which is what Eddie Howe has been quoted in looking at, then you can understand to a certain extent why this move's being looked at. But in real time, when I, when we have watched him play, he's not someone I've been very impressed with personally. But like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. So let me know in the comments, guys. Are you happy that we're being linked with Scott McTominay again? Do you think he's going to end up being a Newcastle United player? Do you think somebody's going to make way for him? And who would that be? Could it be Sean Longstaff? Um, yeah. And where do you think that we need to strengthen most pushing forward? Because personally, I think we need to strengthen out on the wings. And I think we need another striker. I love Callum Wilson, but is he starting to fall by the wayside? I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the comments. If you've liked this content, it's a little bit different. We've been a bit quirky with the edit as well. Um, yeah, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button. It's been your boy Carl, and we'll see you in the next one. I guess we'll probably sign Scott McTominay now, and he'll be class. Peace. <laughs>